Welcome back, everybody. Uh, doing something a little different, a little new. Um, been away for a minute, so sorry about that. But decided to do some short tutorials for everybody. Uh, I get questions asked quite often, and I thought I'd start doing a small series of tutorials on your guys' questions about ZBrush. I know there's a lot of new users out there, and thought I'd uh, try to help you out. Uh, with some of the quirks that ZBrush has. Um, so I had a user uh, the other day uh, get in contact with me and ask me about a particular problem he was having and I've got his page up here on ZBrush Central to kind of break it down to what's going on. What we got is a, a vehicle, the rear end of the vehicle with the tail light here and uh, the back hatch and bumper and the rear view mirror and all that and he's running into a problem as you can see he's got real nice uh, dynamic subdivision going on here but what he wants to do is take these two uh, panels right here and break them apart and you know make legit panels out of them but what you run into with such a low poly is uh, the corners start tearing off and so it's uh, it's not a easy remedy within Z Modeler to fix that, but I took the time, figured it out, and got a kind of a workaround, and might help you guys out. And so I'm going to show you real quick inside ZBrush uh, what's going on. So let's go ahead and hop into ZBrush, and I'll do a quick setup real fast. So we want to create a just a poly mesh 3D, drag him out. We do T for edit. So, and if uh, you guys are interested in my UI here, uh, it is available on Gumroad for free. Uh, it does make my life so much easier, and I do have a bad habit of clicking on all this instead of digging into here. But I'll try to tell you what I'm doing and going into here, and I'll show you where it's at. But if you do want to pick it up, go grab it. All right, so back to the program here. So we are going to turn the polyfill on there so we can see our so see all our edges and all that. Go down to initialize and we're just going to keep the default settings. Uh we're going to make a Q cube. Okay, we're going to kind of make a a back quarter panel here real quick. So, but it's it will illustrate uh, what he's running into. So go into your polygroups here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And just uh, group visible. You can also do uh, control W until you find a color you like. So I want to select like this guy up here. I'll do control W until I get a different color there. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into our Z modeler, which would be Z and M. And I want to click on a point, right click, split, and we're just going to create that little tail light real quick. And then you can always tap Alt if you want a different color. Okay, I'm going to split one more time. Now we're going to go, it's already set up on the polygon for QMesh. If you do Alt, you can colorize, a, do a temporary polygroup there. And then we're just going to push him in. And then we're going to split again. And this time I want to do a delete. Single poly is fine. Do Alt, delete it. And if you want to see the back side there, because we're looking at the back faces inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on our display properties, which is double, and I got that right there. So now we can see inside the rear quarter panel. I don't know what you want to call it. But what I want to do is just create just a, just a quick little tail light here. Just to demonstrate. Uh, we're going to do close, convex hole, Click, hold, 
and then if you drag up and down you can see you get more subdivisions in there and then if you go right or left more right and then give it a little bit more there we go all right so there we got them we're going to do a control shift here i'm going to click off our outside panels here and then just do a quick control w there we go all right so now we got our guy all set up nice and pretty here so it's relatively low poly and we and I'll start illustrating the problem he is having so if you do a D that will activate your dynamic subdivision if you go under geometry and dynamic you'll see it right there and then if you do shift D that turns it off so D shift D and I'm gonna crank him all the way up to 7 which technically gives us a preview of uh, 8 subdivisions so nice and smooth nobody's tearing because everybody's all together so let's go ahead I'm just gonna duplicate this guy clone him out just clone just make a couple copies of him I may not use them all but I just wanted to have a couple copies it's always a good habit to copy and note to self if you ever clone an object it'll clone all its sub tools as long as they're all visible if they're not visible it won't clone them I learned this lesson the hard, the hard way a lot of times so just food for thought there alright so back to where back to this here see if we do just a basic group split and I'll demonstrate here group split always boom now you can see our problem that he has okay that center mass is perfect because it's all held together by the by the rings and all that it it keeps its shape but these straight edges do not keep it they kind of tear so let's go up to this guy here well someone would say uh, well why don't we add some more uh, poly loops okay so I'm going to turn that off for a second reduce my draw size here it's bugging me alright so turn that back on so if we do like an extra oops let's go back to insert if we insert an extra edge it tightens up a little bit but it's still not where we need it so let's find there's another edge we can do that and you can see the additional edge loops has helped but it still hasn't brought it back down so well what do we do now well let's see you can even try a crease point and let's see and it's still not helping the issue kind of adds some weird artifacts to it because I got two uh, edge loops you know almost on top of each other so okay so that first try is not working so what I thought of was well let's take a different approach here let's uh, get out of the Z modeler phase for a few seconds and let's uh, do it differently because we got other tools that we could play with so because he's already gotten everything pretty much set up where it needs to be right so why not why not why don't we use our um, panel loops to help us out but we're not gonna do it just like this we are actually gonna do I want to do ah, gotta go this no nope, you wanna keep your geometry open first what you wanna do first is actually under dynamic is apply so go ahead and apply it Okay, it made 1.6 million polys. That's fine. But nice thing about it is it kept the subdivision. Okay. So let's go to subtool and let's go ahead to do a group split. Okay. And now each one of these, the cool thing about this is each one of these now has eight subdivisions, which is kind of cool. Is so it held on to the subdivisions. 
So let's go to this panel here. I'm going to solo him. And, you know, you would probably want to put like a panel line in here so you can see what's going on. Well, you can't really uh, use Zmodeler right now because it's got subdivisions. So, what I what I propose is to go back to this edge loop thing here and actually do the panel loops. So, here's we'll, here's we'll keep that uh, 0.01 settings. I want to drop the polish down, knock the bevel off, and I want to do a negative elevation so it goes against the normals, it goes inwards, you know, like a panel would be. So, let's go ahead and and on the loops, I want to do 16. And I'll, I'll get to why I'm using 16 here in a minute. So let's go ahead and do panel loops. But first, we've got to delete lower, because it's another one of those things that does not like subdivisions. And you can see it's a very dense mesh. So go ahead and hit panel loops now. And there you go. Nice, clean panel with all these nice little groups. right in there as you can see so but you're probably saying to yourself oh my god it's it's half a million half a million polys what that's kind of unusable you know for animation and whatnot so well nice thing about it is it's all quad base and because I put 16 loops in there I could do a reconstruction subdivision so let's click 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 Boom. Got it back down to 18, 1900 polys. That's manageable. And look at there. Nice and pretty. Held on to that nice crease, or not crease, but held on to that nice circular form. Beautiful. So, well, let's see. Let's turn solo off here so we can see with everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and hit delete higher. And hit solo again real quick and we can actually go ahead and we can even put dynamic subdivision back on it now granted it looks a little wonky at the moment but let me turn that off I want to put a quick bevel on that nice clean edge there so let's go ahead and do bevel edge loop complete Oh, let's change, and we'll do two rows, sharp edge. And pay attention to where that uh, orange cursor or the orange square is on each side. That determines on where that bevel is going to go. Okay, that's not where I wanted that bevel to go, so I had it over here. So control Z. Let's make sure it's on that purple side. And there you go. Nice, clean bevel where I wanted it. So let's see. What we want to do real quick here, we want to go under the crease. We want to do crease polygroup. Okay, that fixed most of it there. If you do a D again, you'll see that it pulls that little corner back up there. That's not a problem. So shift D. We're going to scale it in here so we can see what we're doing. Let's go ahead and do a crease. We're going to crease that edge, that edge, that edge. Scale it up. Go down here to this one. Crease, crease, crease. And if you notice those little double dash lines there, that means it's creased. And frame it out. Let's get everybody out here and plan nice. Turn that off and hit D again. Boom. Look at that. Nice clean looking little panel on our mesh. Cool. Alright, so let's go real fast. So I'm going to blast through these other ones real fast. And try not to mess up at the same time. So we'll delete lower. We're going to go to edge loop. Knock the polish. Bevel. And 16. Bam. Panel loop. And reconstruct, reconstruct, reconstruct. 
extract and one more. Boom. Delete higher. Done. Go into here. We want bevel. And should just click it. Boom, it would be identical because it held on to the same thing. We're going to increase polygroup. We're going to go to the edge and increase these. Increase. One. Get in there. So I can see him. Boom, done. Got to get him. here done all right so he is all ready so on solo let's go ahead and we'll turn polyfill off and hit D again dynamic look at there look at there all right, so we got one more panel to play with here. And solo him. Doom. Turn that on so I can see what I'm doing. And delete lower. And 16. No polish. Boom. 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 Okay. There. All right. We'll delete higher. We're gonna go to bevel again. Done. Increasing the polygroups. Increase. Did. Where's that one? There we go. Turn that off. That off dynamic and check it out not too bad at all pretty simple so it's probably not what you know you you wanted but it's really quick and easy workaround for you I hope that helps you out I hope that helps out everybody um, if you've got any questions feel free to leave it in the comments and if I've got the ability and the know-how I will put a little video together for you so until next time we'll catch you later okay